Hello. How are you guys doing today? Thank you for joining me on this transformational journey. My name is KB. And today I just wanted to come straight from my so-called dome and talk to you a little bit about our soul and the swift kick in the ass that it gives you to wake up that it continuously will give you to wake up. Now keep in mind, I'm only speaking from experience and what I've gone through, <laughs> which is quite a lot. Nothing anybody hasn't, but um, this is just what I realized during uh, my time and period of waking up. So this goes to anyone that is in the same boat that I'm in, in the same category that I'm in, and if you've watched this video some time ago, and if you're still with me, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Life will give you these missions and these journeys, but when you're waking up in a timely manner, you will get a harsh reality. And it's done on purpose. It's done deliberately so you can get to a certain part of your life and start your mission. And I just wanted to tell you, like, if you really think about it, if you gave yourself a really stern look at your reality prior to you coming into an awakening period, or some of those other individuals call their awakenings uh, abuse or uh, neglect or some harsh type of treatment or somebody tried to kill them, or someone raped them uh, over and over and over again. Repeated abuse. If you look back on it, it was pretty harsh, wasn't it? It was detrimental to your ego, but not really to the soul this moment in time everything is duality everything is duality and I'll talk about the soul more um, when we're in our ego state but now that we're coming out of our ego state this stuff is beneficial for our soul and our soul doesn't really need anything our soul is whole up there but inside here we have pieces of our soul and we're collecting all of it so we can get the whole part of our soul, but we needed things along our journey and along our way to wake us up. If we had an easy transition, we wouldn't wake up in a timely manner. If we had to stop sinning, if we had to look at all the sins in our life, if we were addicted to something, addicted to porn, addicted to materialism, addicted to sex, watching porn or physically addicted to sex, physically addicted to abusive behavior. All those things take time to get out of our system and for us to be done with them because sometimes it's not easy. But your universe will give you that swift kick in the ass to get that out of your system. And if you continue to do so, it will only get worse for you. That situation will only get worse. Then it's going to be that much harder to relinquish it. So the reason why I say this is because if my soul or my universe was to come along because me being such a nice, naive, the old me, being such a nice, naive, caring, loving, um, kitty type of behavior, really innocent, and someone came along just like me to try and get me off of alcohol or to try and force me to stop purchasing, stop being a hoarder, or whatever all of my negative habits were, and they came along in a nice, subtle, soft-spoken way to do so to me. I wouldn't have taken that too kindly. I wouldn't have, I, no, I would have taken it kindly, but I would, it wouldn't have pushed me. It wouldn't have moved me is what I'm trying to tell you. It would have done no 
no service for me. I would continue to do the same things, old habits, wanting to go to school, wanting to have the picket fence, not wanting to wake up to see the realization of the real world and see what our government is doing, not wanting to understand religion and why it was developed, not wanting to understand why race was developed. I wouldn't have wanted to wake up to anything had I had someone nice, soft spoken, come to me and give me some of that information. It would have went in one ear and out the other. But instead, I had the universe give me a swift kick in my ass by some beings that I'm not too fond of. Um, they play a part in this as well. And uh, they get what you do not want to understand. They capitalize off of that. But once you start learning and getting out of your sinister ways or reprogramming yourself to know the truth about your world and your soul, then they you see less and less of them because you're reaching higher and higher dimensions and realities. So I needed that and I'm grateful for that. And just like you, if you take yourself out of the box and start observing your life where you were, and seeing how everything was a little puzzle piece that fit together. And yes, it was quite traumatic, but this, you needed that. Your ego needed that traumatic event to wake you up. Remember, the soft spoken person coming to you and waking you up by showing you how they treat the animals and they abuse the animals, showing you to get out of veganism, it, it wouldn't have worked for you if she would have just said, you know, the animals are kind of poisonous. You know, they're 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 poison. They're putting chemicals in the animals. They're they're doing this in the animals. But instead, if you got to see that physically, that's what I meant to say. If you got to see that physically, it's a harsh way to view that. It's painful, and to know that animals have brains and hearts and they can feel and they can think and they are loving and caring and you witness that and then you witness them getting abused and then putting on your put on your plate that's the reality that I needed to wake up I'm more of a visual person I'm more of a uh, someone I don't need anyone to sugarcoat anything for me even though I was nice and uh, very innocent so to speak I still like a good stern talking to, to wake me up. A good stern kick in my ass, no sugarcoating it, boot camp wake up call for me is what I needed and I am so grateful for it. And I want you to understand that that's exactly where you are in this point in your life when things are going to hell for you in a hand basket. It's because we're not grasping the concepts that the universe is throwing at us. So individuals come in, beings come in, and they help us understand it a little more by doing some dark things that our ego did, couldn't tolerate. But now that you're getting out of the ego, you can see why all of those things were beneficial. And I just want you to know that the swift kick in my ass is needed and eventually you'll see where you will be grateful as well that you had it done that way. Because we need to wake up in a time fashion, in a, in a timely manner is what I'm trying to say. We need to wake up in a timely manner. And if we didn't get that swift kick in the ass always, always, always when we when we're doing something wrong or when we're going back into old unconscious programming, here comes another swift kick in the ass. If we don't get that, we're not going to get to our mission in the time that we're supposed to get to our mission so we can assist the world in what we came here to assist them in doing. So just know, do not beat yourself up. Do not get sad. Do not get depressed. Know that this is boot camp for you to wake up sooner than everybody else so you can assist. I love you guys. Thanks for watching and have a blissful day.